Chris Perlow, chrisperlowdesign.com. And today what I would like to do is show you a couple of things uh, in Photoshop in reference to the smart, creating a smart object as well as the layer mask. These two things are very important uh, and they can really improve your design or photo editing skills. The first thing that I would like to talk about is a smart object. What is a smart object? Well, basically what it is, is when you import a photo into Lightroom, or any image for that matter, into Photoshop, I'm sorry, not Lightroom, what happens is when you end up making an image smaller, I'll use this image as an example, what happens is, let's go ahead and select this image. Now, when I want to make it smaller, let me make a duplicate copy so I don't mess it up. All right, so let's let's work on the copy layer here. Let's close that one out. All right, so what you want to do, what happens is, say you want to make it smaller, and I'm holding shift while I do this to keep it proportional. All right, so say I want it that size, okay? Now, what I have done is I took that layer and I made it smaller. So it threw away, what it's doing, it is throwing away all of the data, a lot, not all of the data, but a lot of the, the data that uh, was being used when the image was larger. So what will happen now, it threw away a lot of the pixels. So what will happen now is when I go ahead and try and make it bigger, it's not as sharp. And you can see that it's fuzzy and sort of pixelated a little bit, but it's definitely not as sharp as the um, original image, which, so you can, you can, I don't know if you can tell the difference, but I can definitely tell the difference between the original layer before I shrunk it and the shrunken layer that I brought it back. I don't know how it looks on your screen, but you can definitely tell there's a difference. And to exaggerate this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it one more time. So let's go ahead and shrink it down. Okay, I shrunk it down again. Now I'm going to bring it back. And now I'm sure you can tell the difference that it's pixelated. It's really pixelated and fuzzy now. So here is the original image. And then here is the image that I shrunk down and then brought it back to its original state. What it does is it throws away a lot of the uh, data because the file is now smaller. So when you bring it back, it doesn't recover all that data. So that's why it's important to make sure that if you're going to resize images to do it as a smart object because this is what happens when you keep when you make an image into a smart object now I'm not going to make another layer because this is not going to damage it so what you have to do is you right click on the image on the layer and then convert to smart object now what you do you can go ahead and make it smaller Again, I'm holding shift down to keep it proportional. I'm gonna make it that small. All right, so just go ahead and click enter to accept that. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to bring it back to the original size. And everything is still perfect. So it retained all that data. And it did not lose, it did not throw any of it out because I made the image smaller. That is why it is called a smart object. Okay, so now uh, this image right here automatically became a smart object when I when I placed it into this uh, into this file. So what I want to show you now is what is the benefit of both using a smart object as well as a layer mask. Say I want to use 
the sunflower as the sun in this beach image. So what I want to do is let's go ahead. Well, we can leave it like that. We'll uh, let's let's work on this image first. What I want to do is I want to shrink it down so that it's proportional to the other image. Again, it's a smart object, so I can go ahead and keep constantly keep resizing it and not have to worry about losing any of the pixels in the image. So let's go ahead and bring this up here like so. That's probably still going to be too big. Yeah, that's going to be too big. Whoops. Alright, so what I want to do is I want to shrink it down some more. And this is why it's so great for a smart object. You can go ahead and keep resizing it. So let's say I want the sun right there. Okay. Go ahead and click enter. All right. So now what you can do is let's go ahead and re well, yeah, let's go ahead and reverse this. All right. So now what you can do is I'm going to take the sunflower. I'm going to go ahead and make that a uh, give it a, a layer mask. Now, what you want to do with the layer mask is you want to grab your brush tool and you also want to make sure that you have black as your foreground color. And what you can do is I have, I'm using a mouse, so this is going to be very, very sloppy, but this is just for demonstration purposes. Let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit here. So now what you want to do is just go ahead and you can get rid of everything. except for the sunflower. Of course, you're going to want to zoom in more and, and, and get the rest of it, but I'm not going to do that right now. And zoom out. So, you know, yes, it looks very ugly, but I just wanted to show you. Now, what you can do is, uh, what I have done is I have not erased anything that's in this image. What I've done is I created a layer mask and it's just hiding all that stuff. So you can always go back and uh, do any type of alterations that you want. And you can also disable, you don't have to delete it, you can disable it and it shows the image right there. So that is what is cool about using a layer mask as well as using a, um, a, a smart object. They work hand in hand and they, they can really help you do some really awesome stuff when you're trying to get really creative in Photoshop. All right, guys, so that's my tip for the day. If you guys have any, any questions, please uh, email me at chrisparello at gmail.com, or you can just, of course, uh, leave a comment, and I will get back to you. And uh, thanks for watching. Talk to you guys later.